Welcome back to my channel. My name is Evie if you're new here and today we're going to be doing a teddy bear freehand using Madame Glam's new collection, Daddy's Girl. My favorite one is the red one but I'm loving the nudes and I'm loving the pink. This collection is so cute. It is on their website called Daddy's Girl Collection. This one is my favorite and this one's called Positive Tomato. And if you're concerned about cure time, they always have the instructions on the back of their bottle how you could cure them. And of course their gel polishes are always purity free and nine formula free so there's none of those chemicals in these gel polishes which is good so i decided to do some coffin tips so i'm going to cut down my flexi hand nails for my coffin tips and then i'm going to use my file 100 and 180 grit file to make sure that i remove the shine from the nail plate and from the actual nail itself because if you do not file then the poly gel is just going to pretty much like peel off because it needs a texture surface in order for it to adhere to so always keep in mind poly gel also has gel in it and in order for it to adhere to any nails you have to have a texture surface so because these nail tips are a little bit on the big side of the coffin i'm using my straight edge cutter and i'm just going to cut the ends of the nail tip so i can make that coffin a little bit more narrow okay so always make sure that you don't have any dust on the nails before you move on to the next part which is the base gel and i always love to use the madame glance base gel i always put a thin coat first you don't want to put it too thick because that'll deplete the purpose so make sure that it's just a thin layer of base gel So you always want to make sure that your brush is nice and clean, remove all that, you know, residue from the old products that you used, if you could tell. You can never tell when your brush is dirty, so every single time you do your poly gels, make sure that you clean it up so you don't transfer any of that nasty stuff to your new set of poly gels. So we're using Delilah from Madame Glam. It is a very pretty soft pink, kind of in a nudie pink corner, I don't know, I really like it. Kind of in the middle of a bubble gum i don't know i just really like it and usually i do all of the five fingers but this time we're just going to do two and you don't want to saturate your brush too much with alcohol because if you do it's going to happen like this the poly gel is just going to break apart so make sure your brush is just damp if it's too much alcohol or if your alcohol is too strong it will kind of you know it, it'll mess up the poly gel so make sure when you do this alcohol if you're not using slip solution make sure you use at least a 71 percent alcohol because anything above that will kind of give the poly gel white residues and it'll break up the poly gel and you don't want that to happen because if it starts breaking up the poly gel then the poly gel is not going to last on your nails you want to pat it into place a little bit firm pat you don't want to pat then drag too hard because it'll break the poly gel so this is not a long process to do but you don't you do want to take your time not all the way though but once it starts to get sticky then you will know because we're using a lot of alcohol so if you use a lot of alcohol it'll cause the poly gel to create this sticky film on top so make sure that your alcohol is not above 71 percent I really love poly gel. You don't have to worry about monomer. Don't have to worry about burning your, you know, the client's skin. You know, it just you tell it where it goes. And I picked up a little bit more poly gel on this finger, just to show you that the more you pick up, the more product you have, and it's not a bad thing. But if you pick up too much, you're just gonna be wasting it. So a little bit does go a long way with this poly gel. I am doing the one ball method of poly gel. If that even exists, I just made it up today. 
but yeah i just picked up one ball of poly gel and i'm just dragging it down did you see how pretty this nude is this pink is it's so natural looking and everything i just love it make sure when you do this part you kind of turn the nail and you like stretch the poly gel towards the end of the nail tip because if you don't then you're gonna have like this gap between the nail and the poly gel when you go to file you know anything could go underneath it so make sure that you pat down all the poly gel all the corners take a little bit of time doing this and see that kind of pull down the poly gel towards the tip because we don't want this to lift in a couple days so I have not cured the first two poly gels yet. What I like to do is I like to do all 10 fingers first, allowing the poly gel to settle a little bit and to form a little bit. So when we come to file, there's not a lot of filing to do. And you know poly gel, filing is so, so annoying. The powder, it gets everywhere. So what I'm doing is I'm doing all of the five fingers doing this way, and then I will cure it for two minutes on a UV lamp and 90 seconds on an LED lamp. So this is what the poly gel will look like after you let it sit. This is why I always do five fingers first because it allows the poly gel to settle a little bit. It allows to stretch a little bit. And then when you go to file, you won't have to over file because it's already smooth. That's what I like to do with my poly gel. I don't know if anybody else does this, but that's how I do it. And it saves me like a lot of time on filing time what the nail looks like no fouling no buffing yet the only thing that I did was foul the tip of the nail so now we're going to use our buffer and like I said on my previous videos you don't need an e-file because the poly gel is, is too soft so like if you was to use a e-file you're just going to like literally file off the layers of the poly gel you don't need that you really don't because you did not cure this poly gel until all the five fingers were done you allow the poly gel to settle you won't have to worry about over filing. So this is what I do. I take my buffer. This one is from another company, of course, but I just take my buffer and I just smooth it out. Now you don't want to smooth it all the way. You just want to give it a smooth top, still texture though, because if you smooth it, when you apply any polish on top, it is going to be too smooth. So you do want to give it some texture. So we're going to move on with Honest Sky and this is the Tiffany Green that I really love and you guys already know when I write do gel polishes I do the first layer very very thin this is not how the gel polish actually comes out of the bottle I just prefer to apply the gel polishes very thin because I do not like bubbles I don't like bumps I don't like any of that so I always take my time and I apply the gel polish very very thin the first and then I cure it 
for the whole 90 seconds and then I add the layers this one I only did two two coats of honest sky to our teddy bear i chose a teddy bear because i love teddies i just i just love them this one was not hard to do but at first i wanted to do a little boy teddy and then i was just like no i don't want him to be a boy i want him to be a girl so at first he came out looking like a boy and then we changed him up and gave him a bow so now it's a girl but yes i love working with gel polishes these are so so nice to work with and the brush that i'm using is just a detail brush you can get them from anywhere so, so the first layer that I'm doing is going to be very, very thin. Remember, when you're using gel polishes, you always want to make the layers very thin. And you want to cure in between each layer you do. So what I usually do, I would take one color, okay, and I would do the whole thing with just one color. So like, for instance, the bear is brown. So I would just completely finish the whole bear first. And then I will move on to the next color. So it doesn't bleed onto this color and we don't, it's not too thin or bulky I really love working with Madame Glenn's gel polish I've been looking for e everywhere to see you know if there's other gel polishes out there or if there's gel paints that I could use and I did buy a gel paint from another company and I returned it because I didn't like I didn't like how it you know worked with my painting so right now I am only painting with Madame Glenn because for now it is actually the best one I've tried so far, especially the black. I finally got my hands on the black um, from Madame Glam. So I could go ahead and continue doing this. But of course, I think the black, when you go ahead with the black, I think the black brings out the whole, you know, image. I think it's a very, very strong, you know, black. And I love that. But if you do mess up, you could always clean it up before you cure it. Like I said, always cure in between. But I usually take my silicone little hand over here. It's like a little tool and I remove all what I did. So you could always take your time and fix your mistakes. So if you do mess up, no worries. Don't beat yourself up. This is supposed to be a fun process. You're supposed to enjoy drawing. To keep in mind when you're curing your art make sure that you remove all your little swatches that you have because it'll cure that too I know sometimes I do that because I'm in a rush and then I have to like go back into the bottles and you know add more because I do it all the time so make sure that when you do cure in between layers that you remove your little card full of swatches at this part it was a little boy teddy if you could see and then i'm just like something is missing and i just kept on drawing and it turned into a girl so <laughs> i mean maybe i should have done a little boy teddy and then a little girl teddy maybe next time but see how cute the little boy teddy is i should have left him like that but of course i added more i started adding more red and then i gave him little eyelashes and then he just completely turned to a girl so yeah <clears throat> the teddy is a girl now <laughs> But I think it's so cute. This red from Madame Glam is Smart Ox Blood. I think this is really pretty. It's really glittery, very metallic-y goes perfect with hearts and bows i love it and i also used the light pink one 
for her little tongue and that one is called special pink so So the other fingers I just decided to do just random lot, you know, lines, hearts, and I did use a glitter mix that I got from a friend. Her name is Quiona, and I will have her YouTube link on the bottom because she did make this glitter mixes, and I think it's so pretty. And she does, she did sell about three of them to me. If you guys are interested, so I took my Madame Glam base gel and I'm up. Uh, put in the glitter on top of the base gel. I didn't cure yet, it's still wet. So we're just gonna put that glitter on top of the base gel. You could use top coat if you want, but I chose base gel because it's like a lot stickier and top coat would've just, you know, made it shiny and yeah. So I always use base coat. I think base coat works better when you're doing this. Or you could take hard gel, any gel that you have, or even put this on with acrylic, but because I already painted this with gel polish, we're just gonna do this thinly with the base gel and just add your glitter. So now it's time for us to add our Madame Glam top coat and we are going to cure this under my LED pocket lamp about two minutes and this is what it looks like i really like the colors together and i love teddy bears i love you mom i did this for you and i hope you guys like this i hope you like the colors you know i love green so that's why i did green i love these colors you guys all everything that i use in this video is going to be on the bottom so don't forget to look under there and i hope you guys like this video and thumbs up and i'll see you next time thanks for watching see you next time